One of the most popular and proven methods to promote your business events is with attention grabbing flyers. I've partnered with Adobe Express and I want to show you how you can easily design a flyer for your next business event with their user friendly tools. We'll go over how to access and edit customizable templates to craft your flyer, generate a scannable QR code, resize your event flyer for various platforms, and much more. I'll even show you how to order physical copies of your business event flyer directly on Adobe Express. Whether you're handing them out or posting them online, flyers are a great way to quickly spread the word about your upcoming business event. So let's head over to Adobe Express and go over how to design an attention grabbing flyer. So from the Adobe Express homepage, the first thing I want to do is open up a new flyer project. To do this, let's go up to the top menu here and click the print tab. Here's where you can view all sorts of items that you can design and print directly on Adobe Express. If I go to the very end here, I should see an option that says flyer. Let's click the choose product button and check it out. This will open up a window where we can view the two flyer print sizes that are available. This includes an 8.5 by 11 inch vertical flyer or an 11 by 8.5 inch horizontal flyer. I think I'm going to go with the vertical flyer. Once you select your flyer size, go ahead and click the choose product button at the bottom right. And a new vertical flyer project should now open up in Adobe Express. Here's where we can access all sorts of tools and features to design our flyer. So the first thing we're going to do is find a flyer template to start with. To access the templates, let's go to the templates tab from the menu on the left hand side. Here's where we can access tons of professionally crafted templates that are available on Adobe Express. Since I want to create a flyer for my business event, let's go to the search bar here and search for business. This should pull up dozens of different templates that are related to that keyword. I can now browse through the templates and find one with a style and design that I like. But keep in mind, all the templates are fully customizable, so anything can easily be changed. And when you select a template, it'll be added to your project for easy editing. But if you're on the templates tab and you can't find a template that you like, you can use AI to generate a template by clicking the generate template button at the top here. This should open up the generate template window. First, at the top left hand side, let's select the type of template that we want to generate. For this example, we'll be generating a flyer. Once you select your template type, you can then use the text field here to describe the type of template that you want to generate. You can literally just type in the type of business event that you have coming up and let AI do the rest. For my flyer example, let's have AI generate a flyer promoting my upcoming YouTube seminar for beginners. Once you're finished describing your flyer, go ahead and click the generate button on the right hand side. The AI will then analyze your text and provide you with several flyer examples that you can select from. The text and graphics for the flyers will be based on whatever you wrote in your description. And remember, everything is completely customizable, so any of these will be a great starting point. Also, if you see one that you like, you can hover your mouse over it and click the top button here to generate variations. This will provide you with several similar templates with different text and image variations. So for this example, I think I'll go with this flyer template here. Once you select a template, it should then be opened up in the Adobe Express editor. From here, we can change the text, the images, the colors, and anything else we like. But before we customize our template, let's go over how to add our branding with a single click. From the menu on the left hand side, go ahead and click the Brands tab. This will take you to your Brands menu where you can add your brand logo, colors, and your fonts. Simply add your brand assets to the Brands menu and you'll be able to easily apply your branding to any design that you're creating with a single click. So to apply my branding to my template, Let's click the apply brand button at the top of the menu here. And all of the fonts and the colors on the template have been changed to my branding. This is great for creating consistent content when creating designs on Adobe Express. And being able to change everything with a single click also saves a lot of time. So now, let's use Adobe Express's tools and features to finish customizing my business event flyer. When creating a business event flyer, there are a few essentials that you want to make sure you have. This includes things like the title of your event, the date and time, the address and phone number, and maybe an email, some information about the event, and the keynote speaker if you have one. If you're starting with a template on Adobe Express, all you have to do is change the default text over to your event information. And of course, you can move things around and resize elements however you like. And when designing your flyer, make sure the colors complement each other and everything is easy to read. So I've finished customizing my text and colors, so now let's do something with this image here. For this part of my flyer, I want to add an image of my keynote speaker, which is me. 
So let's go to the upload tab from the menu on the left hand side, then find and open up the image that I want to use for my flyer. When you open up your image, it should automatically be added to your template. From here, I can resize and rearrange it as needed. Let's delete this default image here. <laughs> That's much better. Now I can resize my image and put it right above my name and title. I think my business event flyer is starting to look pretty good. And while you're designing, feel free to rearrange and resize any of your elements until you get everything exactly the way you want it. Also, if you want to enhance your flyer even more, you can go to the Elements tab from the menu on the left hand side and browse through thousands of graphics in the Adobe Express library that you can use with your design. They have pretty much any type of shape or graphic that you can think of, so you'll never have to worry about searching for graphics anywhere else when creating your designs. And if you needed to add more text, like maybe a website, you could go to the text tab from the menu on the left hand side here. And speaking of websites, one of the easiest ways to get people to visit your website is by using a QR code. By adding a QR code to your flyer, people can simply scan it and be sent directly to your website or event page. So let's go over how to easily generate a QR code on Adobe Express. First, let's head back to the Adobe Express homepage. To access the QR code generator, go ahead and click the quick actions icon at the top left. This will be the round blue icon with the plus sign. From here, let's click the quick actions tab. And from the options here, go ahead and click generate QR code. This will open up the QR code generator. To generate a QR code, all you have to do is paste in your website or event page URL and your new QR code should appear in the preview. If you click the style tab, you can select from several different styles that you can add to your QR code. And if we click the color tab, of course, we can change the color of our QR code. And if you wanted to change the file format, you can do that from the file format tab. So I finished creating the QR code for my flyer. So let's download it by clicking the download button here. And your QR code should then be downloaded to your device. So now that we've created our QR code, let's head back over to our event flyer. From the menu on the left hand side, let's go to the upload tab, then find and upload the QR code we just created. And your QR code should now be added to your template. From here, go ahead and resize it and move it to a good location. You want to make sure it's big enough so people can scan it, but not in the way or a distraction from your other elements. And this may require you to move some things around a bit. There we go. I think that'll work. And I just noticed that I'm missing the address for my demo event, so let's add it to this element down at the bottom here. When designing your flyer, make sure you take your time and add all the essential information for your upcoming event. Feel free to customize your flyer as much as you like, but for my flyer, I think I'm just going to roll with this. So once you're finished designing your flyer, you'll then need to print copies so you can start handing them out. Luckily, we can place an order for high quality prints directly on Adobe Express. To do this, let's click the print button at the top of the page here. This will open up the print and deliver menu where you can place an order for your flyers. Using the preview at the top here, you can view various mockups of your flyer to see how it looks in real life. Make sure you check everything out and see if you need to make any changes before ordering. And as far as price goes, they start at 25 flyers for $25, which is a dollar each. And the more flyers you order, the bigger of a discount you'll get. So feel free to select the amount of flyers that you need and place an order directly on Adobe Express. And once you place your order, you'll have high quality flyers ready to hand out within a matter of days. But if you prefer to print your flyer yourself and waste your own ink, you can download your flyer by clicking the download icon at the top here. You can then use the drop down menu to select a file format, then click the download button to download your flyer to your device. But when promoting your business event, you may not only want to print your flyer, but may want to post it on various social media platforms as well. Different platforms have different size requirements, so let's go over how to resize your flyer for different platforms in just a few clicks. From the toolbar up top, you should see a tab that says resize. Go ahead and click that now. Here's where we can easily resize our flyer into any size that we like. You can select a custom size, and if you go down to the social media tab, you can select all the social media platforms that you want to resize your flyer for. So for my flyer, let's resize it for an Instagram post, an Instagram story, and a Facebook event cover. And once you select all the platforms you want to resize your flyer for, simply go down to the bottom here and click the duplicate and resize button. And my flyer will automatically be resized for all the different platforms that I selected. I can now edit each template if needed. And once I'm ready, I can download them and add them to each of my social media platforms. 
Whether you need to order, download, or print your event flyer, Adobe Express makes it super easy. So when promoting your next business event with Adobe Express, you now have all the tools you need to design and order high quality flyers. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.